Hello everyone, Chaos here, and welcome to another old school RuneScape video. Today, the Easy Varrock Diary. For this set of tasks, you can expect to visit these locations. Feel free to pause if you would like to screenshot this map. For the level requirements, you need 13 agility, 8 crafting, 20 fishing, 15 mining, 9 runecrafting, and 5 thieving. For the item requirements, you need 150 coins, any pickaxe, normal logs, any axe, any type of bone, soft clay, an earth tiara, pure essence, a fly fishing rod, and a few feathers. For the quest requirements, you need to have completed Rune Mysteries. You will also need 50 Museum Kudos. Remember to bring some method of transportation to make this slightly faster. So once you have everything ready, let's jump into the tasks. Alright, we begin the Varrock Achievement Diary here at the Lumberyard, which is this little area northeast of the town. We are going to cut one log, and when we have it, we are going to exit the fenced area. And once we do so, we are going to buy a plank from the plank maker or the sawmill, whatever. And we are just going to make it in order to get these two quick tasks out of the way. Next, we are going to head into the Earth Ruins or Earth Temple, whatever, with your either Earth Tiara or Talisman. Craft one Earth Rune, and that is going to be it. For the fourth task, we are going to mine a bit of, uh, you know, not a bit, just one. <laughs> Uh, one iron ore uh, southeast of the city this time around. So let's just go ahead and go to this area which seems to be dominated by bots or I I really don't know. I haven't been to the free-to-play worlds in a while. <laughs> Next we are going to use this little shortcut fenced area whatever and once you have that I recommend going to um, to Varrock in which we are going to speak to Haig Halen and I believe that's the curator uh, once we have the required amount of kudos. Next, we are going to steal from the tea stall in Varrock, and as you can see, I got kind of confused. It's this little area to um, south of the east entrance. Just go ahead and uh, steal one tea, and that is going to be it. Next, we are going to have Aubrey teleport us to the Essence Mine, which is really, really uh, close to the previous location. Next, we are going to search for a stray dog, and we are going to give it a bone. Jagex, you pieces of shit, I really don't want to see stray dogs in the game. Give us a quest in order for us to either adopt them or for the dogs not to be, you know, flea infested anymore. This is actually kind of sad to see even in the game. <laughs> Next, we are going to browse, I believe, to Sally, is that's, that's the name, that's how it's pronounced? <laughs> the clothing store here near Verrock Square, and just go ahead and open the store and that's going to be it. For the next one, we are going to run northeast, in which we are going to buy a newspaper from this dude. I believe it's just going to be around 50 coins, I don't really see because of the layout of the, uh, that I have for the tasks, but buy one and that is going to be the end. Next, we are going to catch some trout at River Lum in in Barbarian, Barbarian Village, sorry, I, I was getting my beast kind of confused. Once we fish one of them, that is going to be the end of this one, and for these last two, we are going to spin a bowl uh, what is it? A bowl at the pottery place here in Barbarian Village. We're going to fire it in order to create a bowl. And finally, we're going to go to the uh, Stronghold of Security, go down to the second floor, and that's going to be pretty much it. Very easy, very quick, so let's see what the rewards have to give us. Once done, go to the NPC named Toby east of the general store. You will obtain the Varrock Armor 1. You will also obtain a lamp worth a 2500 experience, and finally all of these other benefits shown on screen. And that's pretty much it! If this video was useful in any way, make sure to drop a like and subscribe for more guides. Thank you very much for watching, and I hope to see you soon!